Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe below by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Also, don't be afraid to hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, so today I'm going to be discussing the most underrated skincare techniques in my opinion. If you're interested in this video, then keep on watching. I just want to let you guys know I have my two dogs here and I also have a pet parakeet so you're gonna hear them probably making their little sounds please just don't ignore them but just know that they're here and their energy is in this video and that is awesome so I wanted to talk to you guys about what I think are the most underrated skincare techniques that I wish would be held to a higher standard in the skincare community here on YouTube. So I'm just gonna get right into it. The products that I think that are the most underrated right now are cleansers. You guys, I can't tell you how important cleansers are in your routines. People, every time I talk to them, they seem to be very focused on moisturizers and serums, but nobody pays attention to just how drastic your cleanser can be to your all-around health of your skin, the all-around clarity of your skin, the all-around moisture of your skin. People, you know, they put a lot on their moisturizers, and I think a little too much because I never realized the power of a good cleanser until I was using Tatcha products. They are a very hydrating line and their cleansers are very hydrating. And if you have very dried skin, I think you would really like that line of cleanser. Because I really just, by the, I could tell a lot by the seasons and the winters. I remember one winter previously, I, I wasn't using any Tatcha products. I was putting it all on my moisturizers and I wasn't investing in good moisturizers at the time. And my skin was so dry that whole winter. I was sheet masking every night. My face was a mess. And I didn't realize the power of a good cleanser until the following year when I switched over to all Tatcha products. And my skin was so, so, so hydrated. And I definitely attribute it to the cleanser because I didn't have one problem that winter when it came to dryness. If anything, I do moisturize to a point where I was a little oily and my skin started getting clogged. But that's because I'm not totally dried skin. I'm more combination. So I think I was using a little too much of a certain type of product that was geared, geared more towards dry skin. But what I want to say is it really showed the power of a good cleanser. Same thing when I'm oily. Um, I know the Frothy Foam Face Wash by Origins actually really helped balance out my skin and I owe it a lot to that specific cleanser. The La Mer, uh, La Mer Gel Cleanser, same thing. The Peter Thomas Roth AHA Gel Cleanser, same thing. Those cleansers really helped out my skin a lot in the overall clarity and balance. Uh, product number two that I think is underrated is toners. I can't tell you how many times I've seen like YouTube influencers being like, nah, I don't really think toners are necessary or, oh, I don't think they're that helpful. It's like an extra step. You guys know, like toners balance out the pH levels of your skin so much and they can be used for so many different things. They have, when I was younger, all I would use was like witch hazel as a toner, but it was still something. But now they make toners for every skin type. Some have AHAs in them, some don't. Some have salicylic acid in them, some have glycolic acid in them, some don't. Some are very moisturizing and uh, nourishing. And if you choose the right toner for your skin type, I really truly think a toner will make or break the overall look of your skincare routine. Product number three is not a product at all, and that is diet and water, water, 
water. You guys, I'm gonna drink my water right now with my favorite skincare brand, La Mer. So many people are so broken out and they're spending so much money on skincare trying to get it under control. But what they're failing to realize is maybe it's not your skincare products at all. Maybe it's what you're putting into your body. Your skin is your biggest organ. Everything that goes in your body is going to be reflected all over your body. So if you're eating like really bad, well, you're going to gain weight. If you're eating really healthy, then you're going to lose weight. If you're eating very oily foods, well, guess what? Your skin's gonna be oily. If you're eating a lot of sugary foods and just really not watching and getting the nutrients, that's gonna show in your skin. And for real, because like I went, there was a period recently where I wasn't watching what I was eating and I saw it in my skin. And as soon as I got it together again, my skin started looking A++. Water, drink water, drink water, drink water. Put down the soda, put down the monsters, put down the coffees, drink water, hydrate your body. And I promise you it will clear your skin and help give you a gorgeous glow. One of the first things I say to people is when they ask me, Morgan, how can, do I have clear skin? What's your diet? What's your water intake? Those are the first questions I ask because a lot of people ask me about La Mer products and how, you know, they, La Mer is very expensive and they're looking to invest. And it always concerns me a little bit because I think people put all of their skincare concerns on these companies. And if the companies or the skincare products aren't working, Sometimes it has to do with your diet, sometimes. So yeah, please keep that in mind. And then the, mo the fourth underrated skincare product that I see, um, but is making a huge comeback right now, is oils. I know, because they sound so scary. Like, do I have an oil? Yeah. So like when you see this, it's the Tatcha Camilla Beauty Oil. You're like, oh my God, like especially like oily skin people. They're like, I don't wanna put more oil on my skin. Like it stresses them out. As long as it's not something like coconut oil and is geared towards your facial skin specifically, you should be okay. There are all different types of formulas for oils. There's like oils that are really dry so your face doesn't feel so oily. There are oils that are more nourishing like this that is gonna make your skin more hydrated and bouncy and plump. I love having like a good resilient plump face. Like I love it. And I do attribute it a lot to this Tatcha Camilla beauty oil. I think this is my favorite beauty oil on the market right now for sure. But there's so many different oils out there for so many different skincare concerns. If you're oily and you're scared to put oil on your face, don't be because your skin sometimes needs the oil to regulate itself. Otherwise, it's gonna overcompensate with too much oil and you're gonna get acne that way. So always make sure you're feeding your face with the proper nutrients so it can be as balanced as it needs to be and kind of help it along the way. Uh, you guys, that uh, that is my four most underrated skincare techniques that I wish people would put more thought into. Everybody, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, comment down below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video, girl. And until next time, stay hydrated, stay oiled, stay fresh, girl. Drink your water, watch your diet, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.